Uh, this is a 2008 Toyota Camry. I'm gonna check the uh, fuel pressure today because the engine is a uh, little bit shaking uh, on idle. I changed the spark plug and all the stuff, but it's still not working. Well, I'm gonna check the full pressure. Let's see how the full form is working properly or not. First of all, uh, we need to open this this fuse box, and then there is a one uh, 30 m fuse. I already took it off right here. 30 m there's one 30 m so you're not gonna miss that after that uh, we need to, we need to take the cap off this cap Pull the cab off this. The pulley is coming out. Just pull the cap. This is the cap right there. After that, there's a fitting. Oh, they have a special uh, tool for that. Uh, I think you need a special tool. Uh, after you take the the piece off, uh, this piece off, this 30 m After you take the fuse off, I started a couple times, so the fuel uh, have on the line like uh, is burned. Uh, engine is, is not gonna start because it, it, the the fuel not coming from the uh, from the tank, just from the line. Whatever the fuel is, you have to burn. So that's after the, because when you open, then you will have less. Of will coming out on this line fitting so we're gonna take this uh, line with the special this is a special tools uh, quick fitting right here so, oh, this is see this is the fitting right here Go right like this. Let's go like this. Just push under. Just push it like this. It will come. Then push this fitting. Push these tools and pull this fitting. Push it and pull it. It will come out. Yeah, now I take this off. This is one 10 millimeter bolt, just loose it up. And, uh, this thing is, this thing has come out. I have more access in here. So this tool, just push inside and pull this other hand, just pull this line. Well, before you do this, put some, uh, some rag or something underneath you will have some fuel coming out after when you take this uh, line off so prepare for that put something underneath underneath it right here for in these tools then it comes easily really right there uh, without this tool you cannot really remove this don't even try i try a lot of tools this is special tools for only toyota hondas you need one of this right there this is the engine and everything so the, you see right there uh, uh, you gonna need one of these uh testing tools 
like full pressure testing tools. Oh, uh, you can buy you can buy cheap from the Harbor Freight. This tool have a bar on. Uh, there's a this one. So we need one of these testing tools. So there, let's see which fitting is. Uh, it's, it can go on that this, this vehicle. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, uh, I try all those fittings. Uh, none of them, none of them match with the, this uh, Toyota Camry O7 or eight. Uh, so I have to figure out my own way. So what I did, let me show you this. Uh, I show you this. I took this off face. You saw that. After that, this one is connect to the other side, right there. Uh, you see the yellow, the yellow connector right there. This one, this one is hook up right there. This, this. This one. like this so what I did I just push you see the yellow tab two side both sides just push the push this and pull it just open there after that I'm gonna put one hose like uh, I have a pressure hole like uh, you see this this is the little hose uh, you see, uh, this hole right there there so I'm gonna cut it in half this I'm gonna cut it in the middle right here cut this off and one one of the this this is the only tools uh, I think it's gonna fit. I can amplify in here. Put one here, one here. So one on the other side. Hose have to must be tied like this one. After that, see how it is. So I'm gonna put one clamp, hose clamp right here. One clamp, hose, one hose clamp right there. So one end, this, like this end, uh, it will go to the, it will go to one side, and the other end, other end go to the other side, other side to the pipe. I'm gonna put the clamp as well there. And then this. This test tester. Uh, tester have a little line right here. And it's going here like this. Yeah, you see this uh I put this hose clamp right here and hose clamp right there, clamp right here, right here. I'm gonna put one one side the line the other side this line to the real fuel reel this side to the fuel reel uh, it's gonna work out let me show you how i hook up this you see this right here this is the fuel reel right here one one, one hole one side right there the hose the other side is uh right in here right there see this right there and the, and the machine is right there i mean the tester hook up to this and this this part this end is uh, going to go here after that just uh come inside the inside the car just just turn the switch on don't, don't start it up.
just turn on and see if there is a pressure on the te uh, tester I, I turn on the switch uh, the pressure gauge right there it is holding a pressure there's no leak right here make sure you check this leak leaking and leaking is no leak uh, no leak as well right here it's no leak so now I can start it out and see exactly uh, it's 45 to the side uh, I'm going to leave it for uh, like 10-15-20 minutes uh, from the start of the latest 10-15 minutes and if it is go like uh, from 4, 45 rapidly coming down like 40, 30, 20 that's when they have a leave in the system somewhere if it's holding the pressure it's go a little bit like I mean 5 PSI in 10, 20 minutes, that's acceptable. Uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna, I, I shut that, start it off. Start off. Uh, it's 40, it's 42, 3 PSI. Let's see after 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If it is go rapidly down, that's mean uh, we have somewhere in the lake. Either the pump, with the check valve, test leak, or either a full injector or somewhere. After about uh, mm, half an hour, I'll switch on and uh, the fuse is. Make sure you put the the fuse. This the green switch, green fuse. You have to put it in. To turn on the pump, full pump. And so after half an hour, it's still holding 40 psi. That's pretty good. Uh, this this car have don't have any leak. Um, full pump is good. Um, so we have to put the switch on and put the fuse back. And leave it for 20 30 minutes like this. That test right there. And test right. Here it is too. And I think it's that test for 20 or 40 minutes. I mean 30 minutes. Still good. So that's how we check the full pressure, guys. Thank you for watching.